As a hypothetical, let's say you're shopping for mowers between four and $5,000 because you've come to the realization that a mower for less than that price just won't cut it. So as you do research, you find out there are so many options out there, but so little helpful information on which is best for you. Well, it's a good thing you found this video because I'm going to go in depth on the ZT Avenger Zero Turn Mower by Bad Boy. It's a well-built American-made lawnmower that has exceptional specs for the price. Now, if you enjoy this video, mash the like button and subscribe to the Tractor Bob's YouTube channel. The Bad Boy ZT Avenger comes with a two-year, 200-hour bumper-to-bumper warranty that covers pretty much everything except for your wear items. The ZT Avenger also comes with a 90-day belt warranty and a one-year seat warranty. Also, the engine comes with a two-year warranty and the transmission comes with a one-year warranty. The warranty is fine and all, but one of the places where the ZT Avenger really shines is the mowing deck that comes on this lawnmower. The mowing deck is made from 7 gauge steel and is fabricated, not stamped. There is nice reinforcement across the leading edge and the 60 inch cut option that we see here has four anti-scalp wheels. The mower comes in a 54 inch or 60 inch cut option. If you need something smaller than this, then check out the ZT Elite. I'll have a video of that mower in the description down below. However, having a 60 inch cut at this price really makes the ZT Avenger stand out because for people who have two acres or more, the 60 inch cut will drastically decrease the time it takes you to mow. The ZT Avenger also has peer maintenance free spindles, a deck dial adjustment system, and easy flip up floorboard. The deck hangers and supports are well crafted and super sturdy. Lastly, the mower has a step on deck making it much easier to get on and off this mower. The cut height is from 1.5 inches to 4.5 inches with a quarter inch variation. Holy cow! I almost forgot to mention the heavy duty rubber bolt on chute that comes with this mower. And if you want, you can replace it with the advanced chute system, which we carry at Tractor Bob's. The build quality that comes with the ZT Elite is exceptional for being a residential lawnmower. So good in fact that many self-employed commercial users are purchasing this mower for their landscaping businesses right now. The build quality starts with the 10 gauge all steel all welded frame to the industry leading 3 8 inch steel front forks and 7 gauge deck which we already discussed. Beyond that I like that this mower also has nice spindle covers, the signature tread reaper floor mat generously sized cup holder and storage compartment, and even the seat, while it's not adjustable, it is super nice and wide and feels very spacious. The seat is well constructed, the stitching is nicely done, and there's an open back to allow for more ventilation. Instead of having a cloth back like in 2021 with the ZT Avenger, the 2022 ZT Avenger has a nice hard plastic back with a cool design. This makes the seat more durable and feels much higher quality. The tire the tires are nice and wide, much wider than other mowers in this price range. This along with the spring tension seat platform helps to provide a super smooth ride for a mower even though there's no front and back suspension. It's truly surprising and I recommend you give this mower a test ride if you get the chance. One more thing before we move on that's also new to 2022 is the matte black powder coating that is on the rear engine guard as well as the front title plate. I personally think it looks really good and helps pull together the other things that are black, like the gas tank, wheels, and chute. On this residential lawnmower, you have three engine options to choose from. A Kohler 7725cc 25 horsepower engine, a Kawasaki FR691 726cc 23 horsepower engine, and a Briggs & Stratton CX125 724cc 25 horsepower engine. People who follow this channel know that I'm a personal fan of Kawasaki and Honda engines, but the mower that's featured in this video is the Briggs & Stratton engine option, and I think it's plenty good for most people who are in the market for a residential mower. That's because all of these engines are considered entry-level commercial grade engines, have good air filtration systems, and cast iron cylinder liners. Now the transaxles on the ZT Avenger are the ZT 2800s by Hydrogear. They are the largest and toughest transaxle that Hydrogear makes in the residential line of their transaxles. With a 10cc pump and 16cc wheel motor. The transaxle 
axles are also serviceable, so these should last you a long time. The Bad Boy ZT Avenger features a length of 74.8 inches and a height of 46 inches. The total width of the 60 inch cut is 64 inches and on the 54 inch cut, the total width is 58 inches. This mower has a weight between 750 and 765 pounds depending on the engine and cut size you get. The rear tires are 20 by 12 and are very wide and the front tires are 12 by 16 smooth tread. As I already mentioned, the extra wide back tires will help give you a much smoother ride. They will also help you handle hills a bit better. Congrats! You made it to the part where I tell you the price of this mower. Whether you watched all the way or just clicked around on the timeline until you got to this section is beside the point because I must mention that prices are subject to change depending on when you are purchasing this mower and the dealer you are purchasing through. Okay, the cash price of the ZT Avenger can range between $4,449 and $4,899 depending on which cut size and engine option you choose. The mower in this video, the Briggs 60 inch option, costs only $4,499. Or you can finance this mower, the ZT Avenger, for as low as $91.04 per month with approved credit. In my opinion, this is one of the best zero turn mowers for under $5,000. Now let's be honest, there's no one size fits all solution for your grass cutting needs, but if I could recommend the ZT Avenger to someone, it would be anyone that's looking for a great mower under $5,000, plain and simple. Thank you so much for watching this video on the ZT Avenger Zero Turn Mower by Bad Boy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. That really helps us out a lot. Hit that subscribe button to receive more content like this and tap that bell icon to stay notified. Have a great day.